So let me introduce our lesson objective. First, I would like to tell that today we will talk about TOEFL IBT speaking in the, in the integrated task 5 and 6. Uh, okay, Muhammad is also a pharmacist. Great. So we have so many pharmacists today. Uh, our lesson objectives are as follows. To master several tips for speaking integrated task 5 and 6. To study some note-taking strategies for question 5 and 6. To revise some key phrases for TOEFL speaking integrated task 5 and 6. To avoid word repetition for making your, uh, your speech perfect. Grammatical book. We will revise a reported word for developing summarizing skills, okay? Uh, if you don't have any questions, let's uh, go ahead and see. Okay, now let me introduce integrated task five. It is listening and speaking. Uh, in this question, you will be asked to listen to a conversation and explain a problem as well as the solution that are proposed, okay? So here is a misprint, uh, it's solution that are proposed, okay? Solutions that are proposed. Uh, so when we will go thoroughly to this question, you will find out what else you have to do, okay? You have only 20 seconds to prepare and 60 seconds to record your answer. Now, uh, before just going, uh, just before going to the question and knowing some strategies, etc. First, let ask, uh, let answer this question. For this task, which skill do you need to develop? So choose. You can choose. Two, uh, two answers, or you can choose all of them. So it's up to you. Try to Saham Road C, Manifest Destiny Road A and C, Lila C and A, Rena D, Lili B, Mahdi uh, A, okay, so you think that for these two tasks you only need uh, creative skills. C and A, B and C. Okay, so let's summarize. <laughs> for integrated question five, you should use both of them. You, can, you will have a conversation, you will be provided with a conversation and two options. Uh, the student will choose one option and will bring reasons for his choice. You can either support the reasons or you can even provide your own reasons. Okay, so you see that you got two options. Either you can support uh, support the students the reason or provide your own reason. So um, number C is correct because you have to do both of them, not just tell your own opinion. It can be possible that you want to support or you want to bring your own reason. So it's uh, the matter of choice, okay? What is the woman's problem and what she has no money for tuition fee, yes, for Harvard tuition fee, okay. And uh, what is the suggestion given? So, solution, apply for a, a scholarship and take time off for work. Great, Lily. Thank you so much. Uh, Saham, the problem is that the man got accepted in Harvard Law, but he can't afford the tuition fee. Okay, great. Great, Saham. The problem is that the woman, who, uh, the woman, who, women, uh, okay, Leila, please pay attention to your grammar. You wrote women want, uh, but it's talking only a woman, so you bet the woman wants. To join the Harvard Law School, but tuition is too expensive. Solution one: to apply for. 
for scholarship, I guess. Yes, apply for to scholarship to apply for a scholarship, take time off for work. Okay, and to find work in another place. Great job, guys. The problem is high school tuition. Yes. So us uh, okay, you are there. So good for you guys. All of you are uh, apply for scholarship, take time off and find work. Great. Uh, if, if you just don't know how to start, just use the, these key phrases can be a little help for you. The problem is that according to one solution is this and the other is. Another possibility is to. I think that the best solution is to because of the reason. It seems to me that is the best solution because. Okay. Okay. Bye, guys. Uh, the next lesson is again uh, is always three p.m. Nazir. Okay. Okay. Bye. Thank you.